You began to talk about uh, the implicit government subsidy for two big to fail banks and uh, and a new study, which I think made a case that that um, that that subsidy was implicit subsidy or uh, was even greater than had been thought. Is that correct? Well, certainly in the case of the eurozone, I mean, three hundred billion is is that that was the IMF's figure. That was that, that's about twenty percent, probably more than twenty percent of after tax corporate profits in the eurozone. So what that's saying is if we took away the subsidy, this is just one policy, admittedly a big policy, but the implicit subsidy that the government's giving the big banks in the Eurozone, we'd be reducing profits there on the order of 20%. It's a little more complex than that, but that's sort of a first blush there. Um, another part of the story, you know, just sticking with finance for a second, um, finance is grossly undertaxed. The IMF says that. You know, if we go buy a shirt, uh, shoes, you know, uh, food in most states, we're going to pay tax. But you trade shares of stocks, derivatives, no tax. So why not tax finance? You know, and again, here, even the IMF saying that. You know, so again, that's a big hit to their profits. Um, moving to other sectors, we spend about 2% of GDP, about $360, $380 billion a year on pharmaceuticals. We do that because the government gives them patent monopolies. Um, that's to give them incentive to do research. Well, I think it's a really horrible way to give them incentives because it gives them incentives to lie, it gives them incentive to say their drugs are effective when they're not or say they're safe when they're not. So if we had a different mechanism, we would spend a lot less for drugs and you'd see much lower profits in the pharmaceutical industry. Um, there's a lot of areas where we privatize things, allow big profits in, in cases where the government could do do things more efficiently. I mean, we've talked about this with healthcare. I think I've been on your show talking about that. Certainly a, a universal Medicare system would be far more efficient than the system of private insurers. The insurers take 15 to 20 percent of uh, what gets paid out in, in uh, health care expenditures. They use that for administrative costs. Uh, Medicare, by comparison, it's 2 to 3 percent. Um, so there's a long list of places we can go where we're allowing companies to make profits in ways that in some cases depend directly on a government subsidy, or in other cases mean having a less efficient economy. I mean, why shouldn't we have the most efficient possible economy? So I think we have a long list of these things that, you know, again, many of us have been working on for years. Uh, we should keep working on them. And, you know, the impact, insofar as you succeed in pushing these changes, it's to lower profits. Um, so, you know, again, global wealth tax, that would be a great thing. And, you know, when we get that, that would be wonderful. But in the meantime, we have a lot of things we, we can and should be doing. 